Great Pyramid, featuring the Notch and the Cave. Aside from translating the Gandon Brink glyphs, this channel's main purpose was to feature aspects of the Great Pyramid that aren't popularly looked at. We've already done the dead end passage of the subterranean chamber, which appeared quite popular, not to mention the uh, Queen's Chamber Northern Air Shaft, so called Air Shaft. So, continue, continuing with more obscure details, let's have a look at what is known as the Notch and or the Cave. The Notch sits at the 104th course on the northeastern edge of the Great Pyramid, about 80 metres up. The pyramid is really steep, 51 degrees 53 minutes. As we can see here from these great pictures taken by a team including research fellow Yakinori Kawai from the Research Centre for Cultural Heritage and Text Graduate School in 2013. He used this chance with Japanese TV to take about 20 minutes video footage to help construct a 3D map of the cave, the hollow area accessible through this little opening. Reasons why it is important include it allows study of the core masonry of the Great Pyramid. Because the Great Pyramid is in very good condition relative to some other pyramids, the Notch is one of the only places that allows examination of the core masonry structure and gives clues about how the pyramid was built. Accounts of the Great Pyramid construction often talk about seams so perfect a piece of paper cannot fit in between them, which is true for many places in the inner masonry. For example, King's Chamber, the Grand Gallery, and was true of the casing stones. But as can be seen here, the stones are much looser than previously thought and aren't orientated. The presence of the cave supports the idea of the chamber method of construction that would greatly accelerate construction. Previously, the cave was showcased by Bob Breyer and Jean-Pierre Houdon and examined as possible evidence for Houdon's internal ramp theory of construction. In 1986, French architects explored the horizontal passage of the Queen's Chamber, actually drilled it and found cavities surrounding it which contained quartz sand. It would make sense to me that there are construction chambers inside the Great Pyramid. Using the chamber construction method would really speed up construction. Thanks for watching. Bye.